Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Today, guys, we're gonna do a little review and overview of the SnapSafe keypad vaults. Uh, if you're not familiar with the SnapSafe company, they're one of many companies that manufacture gun lockers, gun safes, and so on. Uh, they are a division of the uh, Hornady Ammunition Company. And I did pay, I believe, $60 for this keypad vault. I bought this off of Firefly.com. Um, it was one of the least expensive places where I could actually pick one up. Normally, these sell for between like $70 and $75. Uh, depending on where you go. And uh, if you're a fan of the channel, uh, you know that I've got firearms that are usually sitting out all over the place. You know, when I do my podcast, there's rifles in the background and so on. So for the most part, our guns are locked up in gun safes and gun lockers and so on. Uh, we do have uh, two bedside guns that are readily available. Now those guns are not locked up, but my wife and I also don't have children and we want the quickest, fastest access to our self-defensive firearms possible uh, when we're sleeping or when we wake up and when we're, you know, in our room. And so the reason why I bought this uh, SnapSafe keypad vault is for when friends and family come over, um, you know, sometimes little children come with them, you know, cousins, nieces, nephews, and so on. And we like to keep those firearms locked up when they're not on us. And so that's why we decided to go ahead and pick up a couple of these keypad vaults. So real quick, uh, just some of the, uh, the, the features that you're going to get with this vault is a thick 16 gauge steel. It is a fairly heavy unit. Uh, it does have a programmable four to six digit keypad code that you can use. It does have a spring assist lid. Um, it does have a protective foam liner. Uh, constructed of, again, like I said, 16 gauge steel. Uh, patented security cable and pre-drilled mounting holes. I believe you can mount this to, like, say, a floorboard of a vehicle or in your home, however you want to do it. Uh, it does take four AA batteries, which you know, at least you've got that uh, that backup with the key if the batteries do die, but you also have audible and visible low battery indicators, so it will tell you when the batteries are going low. Now, if you're gone for extended periods of time, there is a chance that you could miss that notice and the batteries could go completely dead, so that's something to take into consideration. Um, and that's kind of where we fall into the philosophy of do you want to put your defensive firearms uh, kind of in the hands of a mechanical device and there are some people that'll be vehemently opposed to that and that's perfectly fine And there are some people that absolutely want their guns locked up. It's your own personal philosophy I don't judge you either way uh, Dimensions of the keypad vault are 11 inches by eight and a half inches by two and a quarter inches and uh, In the box, it's pretty simple. You're gonna get yourself the uh, the cable lock Which is nice to have so if you need to mount this in a vehicle or if you want to mount this in some hard point in your home So the the box doesn't get you know taken out uh, you have that option and then you've also got a SnapSafe catalog that's going to come along with the box. And I'll look up the warranty. I can't exactly tell you what it is off the top of my head. And then you get the owner's manual. And in about, oh, probably two or three minutes after I put the, uh, the batteries in, then you go through step by step and they tell you how to program the code and so on. And so let's take a look at the, uh, the unit itself. All right, so like I said, it is a fairly sturdy, heavy unit. Um, I currently have a G17 Gen 4 in here just to kind of show you size-wise what you can expect if you pick this up. And uh, I do apologize for the glare, guys. Uh, I've got mine pre-programmed with the code, which I will change after this video. You just go there. Done. That's it, and it's ready to go. Now, the spring assist just pops the lid up like a half an inch. It doesn't fling it open completely. There are nicer, more deluxe versions of these uh, gun safes that you can pick up or gun lockers that you can pick up. Right here, you've got your reset button for your code. As you can see, the firearm sits in there, and I just drop a silica gel packet in there to take out any moisture. And uh, that, again, that's a G17 Gen 4, and it does have a uh, light mounted to it, so there's plenty of room where you could put your self-defense light on there if you want to. And there's a little bit of foam on the top so your firearm can rest in there if necessary. And I mean, overall, I've been pretty impressed with it. I've had it for three months now. And again, it gives me a little bit of uh, peace of mind that when friends and family come over, that uh, little curious hands are not gonna get into something they're not supposed to. Um, on the back of here, you can see those little mounting points that they have for it. Again, it is a very well-constructed unit. It does have a nice kind of baked on enamel finish, which I really do like. And I do like how the keypad uh, lights up. Now, if you screw the code up, okay, let me go ahead and mess it up on purpose. Sorry about that. Okay, it does give you a little notice telling you, oh, you didn't do it the right way. Okay, and it does light up red. The little light blinks, blinks red up here. So, um, but again, let's just say an emergency, you've got about one second. Done. You have access to it in about one second. So, Again, the, you know, the argument stands, do you want to lock your firearms up and, uh, and you know, risk having that delay when you need to access your firearms, say in a home invasion situation, uh, again, or do you simply leave the firearms out? And again, I'm going to leave that argument up to you, and I'm not going to get in any arguments in the comments about that. That's going to be kind of up to the person themselves. Now, you might have your children trained to know not to touch the firearms that, you know, 
Firearms are deadly, they're not toys, they're not something to be played with, and congratulations to you if you do that, that's a great idea. Me, like I said, our firearms sit out unless we have friends and family coming over, in which case these snap safes are gonna come out. So overall, I've been very happy uh, with the unit itself. I've never had any problems with it. I'm still on the same set of batteries. Uh, let me look up some specifics real quick here about the warranty and expected battery life, and uh, we'll come right back. Okay guys, and so uh, before I forget here real quick, uh, if you want to use the cable lock, it's a pretty simple procedure. All you have to do is wrap it around whatever you wanna wrap it around, put it through the loop so that it is secured, okay? And then after that, your cable lock is just gonna go in this little notch up here in the top right corner. And then after that, you can simply lock the box down. And the only way to get this off is if you cut through it, which really for a, you know, a thief, it wouldn't be that hard to do, but it's the first line stopping area point, I guess you could say. Um, otherwise, it's in there uh, nice and secure. You got all that steel around it. And there you go. So anyway, that's real simple for your mounting, however you wanna go ahead and go that route. Okay, so just a few things I wanted to tell you. You know, if you just push one button like this and the keypad all lights up blue, that tells you that your battery power is fine. If you get a blue and green or blue-green combined um, lights, that means that your batteries are down to 25% and you should probably test them. And, or, I'm sorry, replace them. Um, if you try to enter, oh, what does the manual say here? If you try to enter the code more than five times and you're incorrect, it's going to lock you out for two minutes. Now that could be a situation that you might not like. You might be sitting there trying to hit the code and you're panicking and you screwed up five times and you locked out for two minutes. At that point, you can only open the vault up uh, with a mechanical key, but they also do that so that you know, if a little child is playing around that you might catch, you might hear the beeping in the background and you know to go get them away from the gun safe before they possibly open it up if they happen to know the code or if they happen to get the code right. So either way, there's a lot of factors and a lot of variables that goes to having a safe like this. Um, unfortunately, I do not have the warranty information. I may call Hornady on Monday and try to get that information for you guys. I don't know if it has a one-year warranty, two-year warranty, and so on. It doesn't say anywhere, which is kind of surprising. Um, I'm sure that Hornady would stand behind their product. Uh, and the other thing is the battery life is really gonna depend on how often you open this thing. Um, I don't know what the minimum battery life is. So right now we're going on three months and I'll try to give you guys an update in the comment section about this if I know uh, what the battery life ended up being for me or if I keep an eye on it. So it really depends if you open it daily and close it daily, obviously your battery is gonna wear out sooner. Uh, for us, we're only gonna be using it a few times, but we're probably gonna change the batteries at least every year. You know, four new AA batteries, I'll check the batteries or maybe take the batteries out if I'm not gonna be using it so they don't run down in the safe and so on. So again, guys, that was my quick little review of the SnapSafe, the SnapSafe keypad vault, uh, which is part of the, the division of Hornady. So do check this out if you're somebody who's looking for a nice electronic safe and you don't want to invest the money in a biometric safe, but you also don't want a combination safe or just a straight up lock safe. It's kind of a nice little middle ground in terms of price. Um, so like I said, I ordered it from uh, Firefly.com and I believe I paid around $60 for it. I think it was $60 delivered. Uh, it was free shipping and there was no tax on it, which was pretty cool. So anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for checking this out. Thanks for watching the channel. Please like or subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can also follow me on GunChannels.com. I'm also over there on GunTube.org. And I think that's about it. So we'll be bringing you a lot more uh, videos and a lot more content uh, coming up this fall here, guys. But in the meantime, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.